This is Matthew Robert Payne and uh, this is a prophecy for Mary and uh, it uh, will be a blessing to see what the Lord uh, says uh, through me to you, seeing as I know you uh, fairly well. Um, I have uh, challenges prophesying over people that I know. Um, but first of all, uh, I'll just pray. Um, dear Father, I pray that uh, you give me the words to say and something to say that's encouraging to Mary that will build her up and edify her and um, take her on the path that uh, you have for her. Um, I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. I, I see you, Mary. Um, I see a carousel and uh, it's going around and... Uh, you're a single person on the carousel. Uh, there's uh, not other people on it. The music is going and the carousel's going around, but you're alone. And uh, if you look really carefully, you can see Jesus uh, standing there uh, as you go around uh, holding your hand. And I, I just get the image um, that um, you're alone with Jesus and... Uh, and even though there's uh, people around, um, I see now that um, the carousel is filled with people, but you're alone with Jesus and he's your sole uh, attention. And uh, even though there's people coming and going in life uh, around you, um, it's just you and Jesus uh, have got this relationship. And uh, so it, it, uh, it's flickering, uh, the picture's flickering between um, you and Jesus just alone on the carousel and it's flicking to you and Jesus and the rest of the people on the carousel. It's like you're, you're traveling uniquely with him and uh, set apart with him. Um, I feel that uh, Jesus has uh, a tremendous uh, love for you. Um, I, I feel that uh, you've spent uh, many hours uh, with him in in visions, and uh, you've you've seen him and been with him. Um, he's very comfortable with you. Uh, he's not. Uh, he he's uh, he's like a husband uh, uh, to you. Um, he he's um, he, when you look at the picture. When I look at the picture, it looks like. Um, Rather than a husband sitting on a uh, on another horse on the carousel, a husband standing be beside his wife with his arm around her, just gently talking to her as it goes around. I really feel um, that Jesus has uh, got a, a good relationship with you and one that's uh, trusting, one that um, is really strong and uh, re really. Uh, there's a lot of understanding. There's been a lot of uh, dialogue between you and Jesus, uh, hundreds and hundreds of hours. Uh, he's so comfortable. Um, now he's getting up and getting on a horse on his, on his own, and uh, both of you are uh, walking around, uh, traveling around in the carousel. It's just you and him. And I feel um, that even a partner coming into your life. Uh, won't stop this relationship with Jesus. You've got this uh, this uh, oneness. Uh, there's uh, um, someone uh, who who's on uh, a website um, who's got a book called Walking in Oneness, and I think that uh, you've established your oneness with Christ. That uh, you and Him are together and one together, and uh, I feel that. Um, uh, you've got a great relationship. I feel uh, you've also got a great relationship with his father. Uh, with, uh, with a great relationship with Jesus comes a relationship with the father. And um, you've had uh, somewhat of a good past. And, uh, and uh, the father, you, I don't think you had any issues with your uh, home, with your father at home. And uh, if you did, uh, that's been healed because... Um, the Father really loves you and uh, speaks highly of you and um, he uh, says hi and uh, he, um, he, he's very happy with you. Um, he's asked you to do some things that are tough um, from time to time. He's asked you to speak up and say things and uh, you've been obedient and done it. You've done it uh, with grace and love. Um, you, um, 
you've got an ability to rebuke uh, with uh, grace and love and um, some uh, people uh, disagree with you and uh, and uh, that's okay um, that's uh, part of the uh, trip of uh, living a Christian life and uh, walking as a prophet is uh, sometimes people agree uh, disagree with us and um, you've taken that well um, I, I feel that uh, you're a woman of grace, um, you apply grace, you understand grace, uh, you apply grace to certain situations, but you also, um, how, how you dealt with uh, Pamela, um, you've also got a hard edge where enough is enough and uh, there comes a time where uh, things have been got to be cut and severed and uh, you've got that uh, resourcefulness in you and that ability not to uh, be uh, led astray but uh, to be able to make firm decisions. I feel um, that the Lord uh, has got, my, he, he showed me like a garden and uh, the garden's full of uh, different flowers and I can just see you walking through the garden and looking at different flowers and this uh, represents uh, the path that you're on. I think uh, the Lord has uh, revelation after revelation that he's got for you and um, I think you're not only going to uh, see the flowers but you're going to study the flowers and I, I think it represents the fact that each revelation that uh, you come across, uh, I feel that um, you're going to share that revelation with your students and uh, I think you're going to write about it and uh, share it with uh, more than your students. Um, I feel that uh, you you um, you know that uh, the revelations are coming because uh, you've prayed for them. Uh, I, I know that you know revelations are coming because you've already been receiving them, but I, I feel from uh, this prophecy on, it's just going to be like the floodgates have opened. Uh, you've uh, proven yourself a good steward. Uh, you've proven yourself um, as a person who stewards the revelations really well and uh, you've been praying for greater insight and greater revelation and uh, that's been a constant prayer of yours and uh, um, God's releasing the revelation now. It's going to come uh, in floods. Uh, you've got to uh, get your uh, keyboard out and start to record uh, what you're seeing and what's uh, being made available um, because uh, I feel God wants you to share it in books and uh, on uh, in, in messages and uh, more than just your students I think uh, everyone needs to hear it and uh, and so he'll show you the way but um, from this prophecy on uh, the, the revelation will just over overwhelm you and you'll be busy and uh, it'll be bu it'll be busy times uh, recording uh, what uh, what is um, going on. I also uh, sense uh, 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 an increase in your anointing coming. Um, I, I feel uh, that uh, uh, a stronger prophetic anointing uh, is coming forth onto you uh, from this video onwards um, that you'll, you'll see a clarity and a depth and uh, a sharpness uh, to your prophetic words, um, uh, especially words of uh, words of knowledge, uh, will uh, sharply increase and uh, get more and more accurate, and more and more pinpoint and specific. And um, I feel that uh, there's an increase in word of wisdom on your prophecies that uh, that uh, you'll be given more directions to people, and you'll you'll be given them uncanny directions like. Um, calling out uh, you know actual decisions that people are in the process of making that you didn't know they were making and uh, calling out the decision that they have to make and telling them which way to go um, I feel that uh, you've got a, an anointing like a, like a, I think Daniel had that he told the, the Pharaoh or, or the leader uh, Babylonian king um, he told him what his dream was and then he told him um, the, the meaning of the dream.
I think uh, you're not only going to give people wisdom, uh, words of wisdom, but you're actually going to tell them um, the actual choices they had uh, to make the decision so they're very clear that what uh, you're talking about and then you're going to tell them the decision that, that to make. Um, I feel um, the Lord is going to rise you up as, as a prophet and um, uh, the reason why he's uh, doing that is because you've asked for that. You've asked for that greater anointing but uh, you've also humbled yourself and been a good steward uh, of his uh, prophetic anointing and you've been a good steward uh, of uh, prophecy and uh, you've uh, released and obeyed you've obeyed the Lord and released prophecies as he's told you to do and you've been very obedient and uh, you've walked along the steps that uh, he's uh, given you and you've taken each step as, as he's directed you and uh, because of your obedience and, and your prayers uh, for an increase in anointing I increase that anointing now and uh, let it flow through my hand uh, onto you and, and let you actually physically feel it come upon you now and, um, and I pray that you walk in that new anointing, that new mantle and, um, and uh, you can even um, you can even uh, uh, write a prophecy on open heavens or write a prophecy on Christian leadership. I'll post it in both places and tag me and uh, show me off uh, t to everybody what God says to me. Um, and then we'll see. Uh, I'll, I'll be able to read that and see the increase in, in the anointing. So there's some homework for you. Um, don't uh, rush yourself, but um, it's very clear that uh, that there's an increase uh, in uh, words of knowledge, there's an increase in words of wisdom, and an increase in the prophetic mantle that's uh, on your life. Um, I, I feel um, there's been an angel dispatched with a prophetic mantle that's coming to your house now, and it's going to be with you, and whenever you flow in the prophetic, he's going to be speaking through you. Um, I, I feel also that you uh, You've got an increase in revelation knowledge and uh, revelations are going to increase like I've shared. And um, I hope uh, this has blessed you and, uh, and uh, has kept you. Uh, keep being single-minded with Jesus and walking step by step with Jesus and he'll uh, minister to you. Um, I pray that uh, you can rewind this and listen to it again and uh, give me some good feedback. God bless.